This is a time to just rest and enjoy and bask in God's love and his goodness and in the fellowship and relationship with him and with his son. If you are able, I encourage you to get on your knees. It will help to open your heart, helps to tear down walls and to let God in. Oftentimes we tend to protect ourselves by um, trying to be on the throne ourselves. And so there's just something really humbling about getting on our knees. God's word instructs us that it's a great way to worship and to connect with the vastness and bigness of God and recognize our own smallness, which often we don't do. So get on your knees and first take in staying our minds on God. It says in Isaiah 26.3, It says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Man, every time we just turn our thoughts to staying our minds on God and who God is, it brings this perfect peace. It's unbelievable. No matter how chaotic things are around us, When we take our thoughts off of solving things ourselves and doing things ourselves and all of our problems and all of our cares and just shift our mind and our thoughts on God, it brings us perfect peace. You can face the hardest things that you've ever faced in your life and have peace. And yet I know that there are times in my life and in others where sometimes without God, we've allowed relatively small things to bother us and to weigh us down because we're approaching life by ourselves. So this is a time to allow ourselves to have our mind stayed on God. So take a moment to meditate on the things that God's made that help us to know how big God is. Every day when I do this, I like to think of different things because there's so many things to think about. Like all the animals that God made, the things in the sea, seahorses and plankton and the octopus, dolphins, whales, all kinds of creatures like giraffes and lions and birds, so many kinds of birds, so many colors, so many sizes of birds, vibrant blues and reds and yellows and golds, birds like the beautiful eagle and little birds like sparrows. Just allow your mind, wherever you want to ponder. And then take in also that we are in the presence of Jesus right now. Knowing his love for you, what he sacrificed for you. 
In Isaiah 53 and verse 5, it speaks as a prophecy of Jesus and what he was to do for us, it says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities, the places that we fall short is what iniquities are. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. When Jesus gave his life for us on the cross, it says that his broken body, his stripes, were for our healing. They paid for our physical healing. And that his shed blood cleansed us from all sin in every place that we fall short. His blood washed us clean. Just to take that in, that this is how big Jesus' love is for you. And in being in the presence of God and of Jesus, there's some wonderful things to meditate on the love that God has for us and the love that Jesus has for us. So there's some things in Ephesians that are great to meditate to help you to see how vividly this lives. In Ephesians 2 and in verse 4, it says, but God, who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us. It says God is rich in mercy, rich in mercy. Mercy is when we deserve punishment or judgment and it's withheld. He's rich in mercy because why? of his great love with which he loved us. That's you. Just take that in. God's great love. He's rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved you. Even when we were dead in trespasses, we were dead in trespasses in all the places that we fall short. God made us alive together with Christ in that. In our worst state that God gave his son, his only son, and made us alive with Christ. By grace, grace is unmerited divine favor, God's favor towards us that is not deserved. Grace. By grace we've been saved. Saved that it says it's through Jesus and accepting the gift of believing on him and having eternal life. We get eternal life and we become a child of God just by believing on Jesus and receiving the gift that Jesus gave. We see in this the love that God has and the love that Jesus has. By grace, you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us in Christ Jesus. That's 
you, the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward you in Christ Jesus. For by grace you have been saved. You have eternal life by grace, through faith, through believing. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God. It's a gift, not of works, not because we've earned it. Lest anyone should boast, for we are his workmanship. That's the word, the Greek word poema. We are his masterpiece created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Man, those are beautiful words to take in and just allow yourself to receive the love in those words that God has for you and that Jesus has for you in this. for you, that Jesus gave his life for you, not by anything you did or by earning it, that he loves you just the way you are. In the places that you feel ashamed, that you feel like you'll never be good enough, God loves you right now and gave his son for you. Jesus gave his life for you. That love is amazing. Just take that in right now. And allow yourself to receive it. If you feel yourself pushing the love away, allow yourself to really take it in. There's no other love like it. When people turn away, God never will. Jesus never will. Sometimes when we feel abandoned or alone by people, people's love is imperfect, their love is not, and is always there for us. be a time of seeking to know Jesus and his love if you're not sure at any moment you can receive his love that you confess him as the son of God it says and receive eternal life if anyone would like to do that right now I'm going to pray for you or if some of you have had a relationship with Jesus and wandered away that this can be a time of coming back. So pray with me if you'd like to receive Jesus as your Lord, salvation, eternal life. Jesus, I need you. I need your love. Right now, I receive you as my Lord. I believe that you're the Son of God. I want you to be my savior and accept the free gift that you've given to me and that in this moment as you say yes to him if anybody said yes to him you become a child of God you receive God's spirit and you you have eternal life but it says that the angels in heaven are rejoicing And that this can be the beginning of an amazing, long relationship with Him. I pray for each and every person that's in this meditation, those that have never known you, Jesus, that they can say yes to you and have you be their Lord and Savior this moment. Or those that want to come back to you. That this can be the beginning of incredible journey 
of walking with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can continue to pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for those that you love. In the name of Jesus, amen.